All right, we have to talk weather now. What could be severe weather tonight? Here's first alert meteorologist Ray Petlin. Ray. Yeah, you can see this line that's been crossing over Lake Erie as it's getting closer to uh, the north coast. You can see here uh, those storms are starting to, to spread inland. So we're starting to see some of those raindrops making their way towards us. Now, when it comes to severe storms and tornado warnings, those are all right now back towards the Cleveland area. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning there as you get closer towards Toledo, Sandusky. Uh, Ohio. There's a couple tornado warnings out there as well with that part of the storm system that's dropping in and we're going to watch this line continue to push further to the south and you can see traveling down 79. Some of those storms are already starting to pop up in parts of Mercer County. No severe storms yet in Mercer County, but there's some that are not too far away and this is tapping into some humidity and of course the uh, the warm temperatures that we have even a couple raindrops trying to get into eastern Lawrence County at the moment. Now it's up to the north. Venango, Lawrence, Mercer counties in our area that have a severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect until 3 a.m. So those storms will be moving through this area at that time. Now there's no severe thunderstorm watches for the Pittsburgh area yet or the Pittsburgh metro area just yet. But uh, once those storms get closer to us, that could get extended. So we're going to keep watching that. There are plenty of ingredients still for these storms to develop, especially up to the north where we have those watches in play. So that's where the, the ingredients for these storms are most abundant. That's where the watch is. And again, a watch means that there are conditions or ingredients in the atmosphere that could lead to strong to severe thunderstorms. So there's a watch. Now, if one develops, then a warning will be issued. You can see the yellow shaded areas, which does include Pittsburgh. That's where we could see scattered strong to severe thunderstorms and futurecast here shows us how this works out. It's been doing a really good job uh, with timing this in. So in the next couple of hours, these storms are going to continue to push down through Newcastle and that line is going to progress towards Pittsburgh. This is going to be arriving in town around three. We're going to say two, three o'clock if, if this speeds up, especially for the bigger part of the storms. You'll get some raindrops before the storms arrive, but you can see still some storms happening around 3 a.m. Then it splits off a bit. From there, we see some of those storms going towards the ridges, some going back towards Wheeling, and then some lighter rain for a bit. And then we're going to finish the system up uh, through the morning hours tomorrow, especially with the leftover rain trying to finish up. And then I think through the afternoon, we'll start a drying trend, which is going to lead us to a much nicer weekend. So we have these storms around for tonight. Again, some of these could be severe, so certainly something uh, we're going to keep our eyes peeled to the radar with. Temperatures only getting down to 70, so not much of a drop in temperatures tomorrow. Is still going to be a warm and humid day with our highs back to the mid 80s. From there, our temperatures will start to fall off a little bit for the weekend. And you can see early next week, some upper 70s and low 80s. Then the middle and end of next week, some much cooler temperatures, even a little taste of fall, if you will, as we're looking for highs only in the low to mid 70s and lows easily down into the 50s.